Yes? It's me, Vicky. Uh, we don't want any Vickys here. Uh, very funny, Mario. I thought it was. <laughs> Come in, I just gotta put my sneakers on. Oh, I'm so sorry I haven't been around lately. I've been going to the city to do auditions for films and television shows. It's okay. I'm happy for you. Will I see you in anything soon? Yeah, I just booked these two extra geeks of Nurse Frankie. I'm so excited about it. Ooh. I can't wait to tell you when it airs. It's just, you know what? So funny that it took me this long to realize this is what I should be doing. But it's all coming together. Nah, I always knew it. And I knew that in time you'd figure that out too. So don't forget about me when you're all big and famous. You know I won't. <laughs> Besides, every actress needs an entourage. Mm. Besides, you're supposed to write my life story. That is true. Um, you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Who should drive? I don't care. You know what? I don't know. You know what? You drive. All right. <laughs> Coming out and helping me with my convention idea. Yeah, sure, no problem. You know, I'm so excited for you to meet my favorite teacher, Terry. She's just sweet and kind and laid back. You're gonna love her, and I'm sure she'll help you with your gaming convention idea. Well, I can't wait to meet her. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys! Hey, Vicky. Hey. How are you? Good, Eliza. How are you, Pete? Hey, how's it going? Good. Hey, Eliza, Pete. This is my friend, Mario. Hey, hey, Mario. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Vicky? Hi. Hi! How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Everything here is good. Just busy getting ready for Irish Culture Month coming up. Hey, if you're free, do you think you could help out? Sure, I would love to. You know what? This is my friend Mario. He's actually trying to start a gaming convention, and we don't know where to start. Do you think you can help us? Sure. Hello, yeah. it's nice to meet you. I really do appreciate all your help. Who do I speak to about having a convention here? Well, I think it's a great idea. And Professor Livingston is the person that you need to speak to. You normally need a club to sponsor you, but I'd be happy to use the campus players to sponsor you if needed. <laughs> no, thank you. Thanks. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. Sorry to interrupt you, but Professor Green is online too. Okay, it was great meeting you, Mario. Please excuse me. Oh, and so Vicky, much. it's always a pleasure. Don't forget to speak with Eliza about getting the information on the Irish Performance Day. Definitely will. Okay. Bye. Oh my gosh, it's Terry. Isn't she the sweetest? Yeah, she's pretty cool. Hey, bye guys. Uh, Eliza, I'll call you later about the Irish Day performance. Bye. Bye. So, um, got anything cool planned for today? Yeah, I'm going to the city to audition for the Shakespeare Company. They're doing my favorite play, Hamlet, and okay. I hope I get in, because if I get in, I get to perform abroad in London. Good luck. I hope you get it. Thanks. You know, I need to catch up on my anime. I've been so bad lately. I think the last series I saw was Akaneku. Mm. It was really good. What episode are you up to? Um, three. Three? Come on, you gotta catch up. I know, I'm so bad. <laughs> Hello, officer. Was I doing something wrong? License registration? Sure. No problem. Uh, here you go.
you just wait here. Officer, is there a problem? Whatever happens next, just don't freak out. Is there a reason I should freak out? No, I haven't done anything wrong. This just happens sometimes. This is crazy. You weren't speeding or weaving into lanes or anything. I mean, what the hell? Son, please step out of the car. What the? Sure, no, no problem. You're under arrest, and your car is going to be impounded. Step out of the car, please. What's going on? What's this? Some kind of oriental snack. I don't care for it too much. It's, it's a chocolate biscuit. It's just too Asian. Is there something I can do? Oh, what if I drove the car back? Would that help? I mean, what are you even arresting him for? You know, I know my rights. I'm the daughter of a retired police officer. Oh yeah? It's not gonna get you any special treatment. <gasps> what exactly is your relationship to this man? He's my neighbor and good friend. Stop. Why? Don't lie to us, Missy. I'm not lying. I mean, take my license and run it. See that the roads are right next to each other. If your license checks out, we'll let your friend go. But only if you drive him home. Got it? Don't make me repeat myself. No, I understand you clearly. Let me give you some advice. Stay away from a man like that. People will talk. Didn't your daddy teach you any better than that? My daddy taught me a lot of things. Not to judge a book by its cover, or to judge someone on the quality of their skin tone, but of quality of who they are. Obviously, you can't comprehend that stuff. I mean, he even taught me to respect police. But you, you make all police look bad. You should be ashamed of yourself. Listen here, you stupid bitch. I have to bust my ass out there constantly. Right. The people like. Leave her alone. If she don't want to take your advice, screw her. What the fuck just happened? What did you even get arrested for? They were so rude. Apparently I had a summons for, for parking in a non-parking spot. Can they really do that? I mean, you know, I have lawyer friends if you want to fight it. Vicky, you, you should have drove.
I wanna have the luxury of stepping out of my door Without worry of my body hitting the floor Seeing my parents and more All because a civil servant carries prejudice in his core We done seen this before, the situation all too familiar I'm the one of the million I'm just one of the millions that encounter people who play victim But can't understand the heaviness of a situation when you're faced with racism Now ain't the time to be passive on speaking about what's right or wrong We've known it all along But it feels right to write it in a song when the streets really need it the most the topic is hot like the ones we lost i feel the heat close i'm asking why oh why why oh why i'm just trying to stay alive let me ride to my destination